Hi, welcome back. This painting was a few months old and pretty much all the way dry, so I have to oil out. I swear I'm not just rubbing garlic on this painting, it's linseed oil and a mixture of mineral spirits. And the purpose is to reactivate the last layer of paint you did. Because if I tried to just paint on top of the dry paint, it would beat up and just roll off, like it wouldn't take on the canvas. I'm showing you here how the green is coming off on my fingers, so it's reactivated. I can paint on this now. I learned that the hard way and it scared me so bad the first time, I thought I messed it up. You just gotta be a little rough. You, you could see I was a little rough with it and it's scary to do that, but it's also kind of cathartic. Here are the participants of the last prompt, which was subcultures. Your new prompt is fairy tale retelling. Leave the finished drawing in the Discord and you'll be in the next video. I was thinking about it too. You could do these prompts with anything. It doesn't have to be a drawing. Like I've done oil paintings, I've done digital art, but you're also gonna see fiber art in a few weeks, but you could use it as a writing prompt for a sculpture, for uh, like I said, fiber art, crochet, sewing. Literally whatever you do, you can submit that for the prompt. It doesn't have to be a drawing. Does that make sense? Anyway, wow, well, look at this painting I'm doing. Like I said, this painting is a few months old. I've been avoiding working on it because I wasn't liking how it was looking. I've went over this wolf face multiple times. Oh, if you couldn't guess the title, it's a wolf in sheep's clothing. So it's kind of a little red riding hood kind of thing. I also have never painted hair, so I was avoiding that. I'm using this video as an excuse to show off my bookshelf that I had built. Reading has always been super important in my life. I was the kid that always had a book with them and I had no friends, so at lunch I would read books <laughs> instead of like talking to people. It was sad. Moving on. I always wanted a full bookshelf. Like, I wanted to own a library. I wanted to be like Belle, where she was just going through the bookshelf. That was me. I wanted that to be me, okay? And I finally got that. I have a friend whose dad does carpentry, and he made this for me. I did all the staining myself, though. It hurt my back so bad, but it would have been too expensive to have him do that too, so I did it myself. It turned out beautiful, exactly how I wanted, the color was how I wanted. Before I decided that it was something I wanted, I made like a scale model of my place and put the bookshelf that I wanted in it. I'm a little insane, don't worry about it. These pictures are from when I first put all my books up, so it looks a little different now. And that Tiffany style pendant light you saw up there, that was five bucks. Can you believe that? I don't know if anyone cares about lamps as much as I do. I love lamps. I'm basically a moth. I have like 16. Don't worry about it. But that light was five bucks and I was looking to buy ones that were like 90. I love lamps. That little TV you saw on the shelf too, 10 bucks. And the VCR, my great grandmother's. I'm living my best life. It's so much fun when you have an interest in something that no one else really cares about because everything is so cheap. Though when I was looking for little box TVs like that, some of them were so expensive and they were calling them vintage. Like girl, list it for 10 bucks. Why are we selling little box TVs for 50 bucks? Wild. Anyways, I'm painting. Did you notice that? I told you at the beginning I was avoiding this painting because I didn't know how to paint hair. And that's very true. I winged this hair and it turned out okay, I think. Sometimes I feel like I've been painting for so long that it becomes intuitive. Like even if it's something I don't really know how to paint, you kind of use the same steps for everything. So you just gotta work through it and it kind of looks okay. I actually started this painting without knowledge of how to paint skin tones or hair and I'd only painted one animal before. I don't know what compels me to do things that are completely out of my realm of expertise, but I do that and sometimes it works out. So I guess I don't need to stop doing that. I didn't feel much of this painting. It's a bad habit of mine of when a painting is frustrating me. I just don't want to be recording it because then I'm also having to think about recording and not just focus on me messing up the painting. When I first started it, I wanted to just do it off camera and just finish it super quick, but I didn't end up doing that because it was frustrating me. One thing that I will say though, is watching these close back, I can see how much more confidence I have with my brush strokes and how far back I'm holding the brush. It's called choking the brush if you hold it super close to the painting. I can't do that anymore because my body hurts, so I gotta stand further back. I'm trying to fix my posture while painting because I got my first massage the other day and she was telling me how messed up I was and I'm 20. How am I that messed up and in so much pain at 20? No idea. Well, actually, wow, idea, I'm a painter and I look like a shrimp when I paint. It's fine, everything's fine. I do like how this painting turned out. It looked really pretty outside. I wish I had windows in my space so I could actually see what it looks like in normal daylight, but I can't, so I just bring it outside every now and then. Thanks for hanging out and watching me make this pretty little lady. Remember, if you want to be in the next Scribble Society video, join the Discord, post your video, post your video, post your, uh, picture? Drawing.
whatever you do, do that, post it, and you'll be in my next video. See ya!